Portugal's Prime Minister, Pedro Passos Coelho, says he'll stay in office and work toward establishing a stable government. His announcement comes after the resignations of two key officials, Foreign Minister Paulo Portas and Finance Minister Vitor Gaspar. Opposition parties have been calling for a general election two years ahead of schedule, saying it's the only way to save the country from political and financial crisis. Hers will be one of the toughest jobs in European government. As Portugal's new finance minister, Maria Luis Albuquerque, will need to try to steer the country out of the economic depression. And that will be no easy task. Her predecessor quit, citing concerns about the popularity of the austerity program. A day later, and the foreign minister's gone too. As leader of the junior coalition partner, his departure leaves the government in disarray. But Portugal's Prime Minister is insisting he's staying put. Let me be clear. I won't resign. I won't abandon my country. I embrace, as I always have, serving my country with the same dedication and the same hope. We live in a time where we cannot get scared in the face of adversity. How can I get scared when I see around me examples of bravery from hundreds of thousands of Portuguese people? On Monday, Finance Minister Vitor Gaspar stepped down saying he had drawn public criticism. He had been a major driving force behind the government's austerity measures. The following day, Foreign Minister Paulo Portas resigned. He opposed the move by Prime Minister Pedro Passos Coelho, who had immediately named a new finance minister to continue the austerity measures. The opposition camp is calling for dissolving parliament and holding a general election. For Gaspar, though, missing a 3% EU budget deficit target for a third time was the final straw. This slippage undermined my credibility as finance minister. It's my firm conviction that my departure will contribute to reinforce the leadership and cohesion of the government. Junior partners in Portugal's coalition government had started to attack Gaspar's economic policies. His departure may silence those critics, but for how long? Both ministers were angry over the government's adherence to biting austerity policies introduced as part of a 78 billion euro bailout. The finance minister cited a lack of public support for cuts in his resignation letter. The country is experiencing its worst economic crisis since the 1970s. But the government's outlook now appears equally as bleak.